I've never really not sculpted. I think so from a very early age, I was very into art and drawing and painting. Um, and as soon as I could get hold of uh, plasticine or modeling clay, then I was really happy making characters and making worlds. Um, so I suppose really from about the age of four, I probably discovered modeling clay. And then I've really kind of never really left it alone since. Um, I think at home, I wasn't really allowed to play with it because it would get into the carpet. And you know, so, uh, so it was always very much a school thing or an art club thing. But I've never really left it alone. And even going into um, after school and going into kind of looking as to what to do at university, I was looking at model making and uh, product design actually, so toy design. Um, and again, playing with clay and making things. And then there was an after hours film club um, with an artist, a video artist. And this was early nineties. And he taught me a little bit about animation and the options and then said to me, you know, you can study animation. Um, so you could literally have a Mickey Mouse degree. And I thought, amazing, why would I do, why would I do anything else? The real advantages of working with modeling clay um, is it's really versatile. Um, it can take pretty much any shape. You can push textures into the clay. Um, it's kind of strong enough to stand on its own, but will also take a skeleton for movement. Um, it's, you can blend colors very easily, so you can mix black and the white to make grays and mix all sorts of different colors. So you can make a whole rainbow of colors and also that it's easily available in shops. So any art shop or most schools will have this clay. So every child and adult will have, um, you know, have played with this at some point. So it makes it really accessible to the public to say that, you know, with this clay and with a camera or a phone, you could make your own animations. Disadvantages are, as you can see with this, it can be very soft. And um, so that's why we sometimes need a, a skeleton or an armature inside to support the puppet. Um, and also is that when you push it and move it, those 25 times a second, it gets very squashed as well. So you're trying to re-sculpt and kind of reform the, the shape as you're going along. So if you have a heavily textured character, like Wallace with a, you know, with this tank top with a vest, um, you couldn't really make that in clay. So we use lots of other materials alongside the modeling clay to, to help us make the films. I think the beauty of animation is that it speaks to, to everyone. So we grow up with cartoons, um, but often adults are watching at the same time, or there's a lot of repetition. So things are played over and over again. Um, and I think there's a great artistry so an adult can appreciate the drawings or the sculpture and the process that goes into it. Children often are much more surface, or certainly when young, much younger, um, and just like the, the characters and the zaniness of it. Um, whereas you, as you grow a little older, you know about the craft and you kind of appreciate this good storytelling as well. So I think it spans the, you know, the ages really from, from very small to, to, you know, to your final days really. Everybody can watch animation and get something out of it.